Hey there guys, it's Sarah over here, bringing you my fourth episode of my F1 2012 career series. Today we're at Malaysia for the qualifying. So uh, Q1, I'm thinking uh, we go on primes, I think I'll be good enough. Um, a few of you were commenting to bump up expert to make it a bit more fun. And uh, I got a few like messages in there saying it'd be more realistic. I tried that really, I honestly did. I tried that, I recorded qualifying, you know, ready to upload. And then I just thought to myself, I wasn't really enjoying it. I came 22nd in qualifying, didn't even get into Q2. It just wasn't very en enjoyable. Um, definitely at this stage of playing F1 2012, I haven't adjusted, so I'm not at my fastest yet. And also in a Toro Rosso, it's such a, ma like the difference between the AI, it's about three seconds ish from professional to expert and I can't I'm not like three seconds ahead of everyone here in professional so I was gonna guess that I was gonna get 20 second I did and I just didn't enjoy it didn't enjoy making the video so um I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with the professional I hope you guys understand why um I think it'll just mean that I I enjoy the, making the videos and I, st I still think professional is a good enough thing because I've got pretty much all the assists off so, apart from obviously the corners and a bit of traction control, but um, you know, I, I, th I still think it's a okay difficulty. I mean, Toro Rosso coming fifth. I mean, it's okay. It's it's not unheard of. Toro Rosso coming fifth. Um, I mean, d I mean, all, yeah, definitely in like F1 2012 relative, it's not going to be amazingly realistic. Like, but still, tenth place is realistic for Toro Rosso, and I could have easily just dropped down to tenth in the last race, but. I kept on fighting and defending. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. And um, I will be doing a full... I'm going to be commentating over the full race for the next video. Because uh, a couple of you guys were saying you didn't mind watching a full race. And I just thought, also, myself, it made sense. Because it was a bit awkward commentating over highlights. While trying to, you know, act like I was in the moment. So we're on this first lap here. On primes. Should be able to get through to Q2 quite easily. Coming through fastest in first sector, obviously, but no one set a time. But I found on Malaysia, and was the case last in the last videos, that I was fastest in the first sector always, but dropping off a lot of time in the third sector and a tiny bit in the second sector. Same's happened here as it did in Australia. Um, even more dramatically, I think here in Malaysia, I looked at my delta time on, I think I think it was when I was trying the expert, and I was dropping about like five seconds. It was just ridiculous on the last sector. And the last sector here in Malaysia is just literally straight, so I don't. Oh god, on the gravel there. I think we're just going to ban this lap. I fueled it for about seven laps, I think, so we'll just ban in this lap. Go to the next one. Got someone in front of us, so we'll just back off a tiny bit. Gonna have to stay on the racing line. Oh crap, went wide there. Just gonna have to stay on the racing line, and uh, so we can take this gravel off. Gonna change up to mix three now. Going for the proper flying lap, that was just a crappy flying lap, that first lap. So coming through through the hairpin, deploying curves and DRS, lining up the car straight, and we're across the line. You know, obviously that lap time's not amazing, I abandoned it halfway through. So coming up to the first corner, braking hard now, now swooping right. A lot of understeer here, and oh crap, we spun out. Yeah, I'm just going to... Return to garage. I was low on fuel as well. Um, yeah, that was a bit pathetic. <laughs> um, no, no, let's see. We can go out again. Just gonna fuel it up for a bit more. Change up to mix two, so we don't run out of fuel on the way to offline lap. Let's just see where I get to. Um, don't know. Pondering whether I should go out or not. Fifteenth is a bit sketchy. Oh, sixteenth. Yeah, I'm definitely going out. All right, let's go. On the prime still. All right, so let's do this. All right. Oh crap! <laughs> now we dropped down to twenty second. That's not good. All right, we need to put a bit of a flying lap here. Quite a fly. Ricardo's seventeenth. Oh crap! <laughs> Locked up massively there. I'm just going to use the replay. <laughs> that was a bit retarded. Sorry. <laughs> I was, wasn't really concentrating there and I locked up and just went into the gravel. <laughs> Not what you want on the start of like a do or die flying lap. <laughs> so we're coming up to 
the last corner here, the hairpin, changing up to mix three now. So coming around now, Ooh, getting a bit dicey there. Now deploying all the curves, CRS on, and we're going to start this flying lap, this do or die flying lap. We have to make this a good one. So coming across the line, we're going towards the first corner, going to spot that breaking point really hard. We're maxing out the 7th gear, we're breaking hard now, swooping right. Now getting okay, sort of perfectly on the apex, not really touching it too much. Now taking my foot off the accelerator here, now I'm going to put the power down, DRS open. Coming down, I'm going to swoop right a tiny bit, clip the apex, then go left, clip the apex of that. Now brake hard at the 100 meter board. And then swoop right, don't want to accelerate just yet. Now I do DRS open here. And I'm going to close it for this swooping left. The car has a lot of grip here, a lot, lot of grip. Now we're going to take our foot off the acceleration, then put it right. Then we're going to plant the power again here. DRS open again. Come through this next sector. This long right hander, not really putting any power down now. Now we do DRS open. Come down through this next tricky braking point. Breaking the 100 meter board, bring down, swooping left. Clipping the apex, now accelerating and coming around to this right hander. We've gone pretty fast there, purple sectors there. I can't really read it properly right now. I'm concentrating on my driving. Coming up now, DRS open and close, swooping left. A lot of grip here. Now, this is the corner where I can't really get right on the braking. Going a bit wide there. Now, coming around, plying the power, DRS open, bit of curves. Actually, quite a lot of curves. Half of it, in fact. And so we're coming through the hairpin, maxing out that seventh gear. Now I'm going to spot the braking point. Got a bit of grass on my right tyre, locked up there, around the hairpin. DRS open again. Now curves deployed. Going to line up the car straight so we get the most speed. And what's it going to be? It's going to be a 140. And we've gone fastest for the whole sec session. So that was a pretty sick flying lap there. That's probably my best, but I'm going to put you in. Now, some of you will be like, whoa, that's not realistic. But let me put you in relative perspective. That time of, what was it? 140.545. That was not enough to get me into Q2 in, on Expert. That was enough to get me 20 seconds. Now, I don't see that as a viable option to do this series because this series will not be interesting if you're just going to watch me, like, f like you know, rumble around in 20th every single race. So, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to end that matter now. Don't want to talk about it anymore. Get on, get on to Q2 now. I think it's um, forecasted as like 45, 48% of rain. Yeah, clouds with the rain on the right there on the graphic. So what I'm going to do is, in, I, it's not raining now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight out on options on the medium compound tyre. Just going to set a lap, bung, bung a fast lap in or two, and then come back in and, you know, see what happens. Because, um, you know, I don't know, if it, if it starts raining at the, la in the last part of the quali qualifying two, then, um, you know, and if I haven't set a fast lap time, then I'm screwed. Because uh, obviously, you know, if it's going to be in the wet, then it's going to be a whole lot slower than option in the dry. So I'm just, just going to set one or two quick laps right now, go in the pits, see what happens. And hopefully we can get into Q1, uh, Q3 that way. Because um, if the AI are a bit uh, dumb and a few of them don't uh, go out straight away and uh, try and go out at the end, they'll be uh, caught by the rain, hopefully. So we'll be able to get into Q3. I say again, hopefully. So uh, looks like a lot of cars are coming out of the pits now. They've all kind of got doing what I'm doing. So that like clever strategy is what everyone's thought of. So we're just going to bung in a fast lap, see what it's going to be like. So coming through those first few corners. Now TRS open. I'm going to swoop right now. Now left, coming, readying ourselves for the breaking point. 100 meter ball, going to break hard. Now I'm going to sharp right here, not accelerating just yet. Now TRS open. Getting ready for this next swooping left. We have a lot of grip here, the car aerodynamics working at its best here. We're going to take our foot off accelerator, go right now, we're going to plant down the power again. DRS open, come through, this long right, not planting the power just yet. Now we are, DRS open, coming through to the last part of the sector 2. We've got Kobayashi there on our left, not too much of a problem. Locking up a tiny bit, got a few marbles on the right tyre. Really taking a lot of the apex there, coming through, that was the end of sector 2. Now this corner's tricky, you need to thread it through, DRS open now, 
coming through now we're going to close it for this left hander a lot of grip here as well we're coming through to this last corner that I can't really get right just about and we're kind of losing a bit of power now we're going to plant the power Ooh, going a tiny bit wide we're going to deploy a lot of our curves here to our wide open we're going to max out that 7th gear by the end of the straight and Raikkonen has done a 139.679 so let's see what our lap time is going to be like across the hairpin. DRS open, curves deployed, the rest of it. Going to keep the car straight. And what's it going to be? And it's going to go faster. Raikkonen is only three hundredths of a second slower than us. That is uh, that is some close knit stuff. That is some that is some proper F1 2012 realism there. Some really close stuff. So I set a really fast lap time. I'm confident in that. So let's see what happens. Hopefully it will rain. So then the AI will be uh you know drowned down and I'll get into Q3. Let's see, yep, it's all pretty slow, isn't it? I can see on the deltas one one second and a half slower than me. Yeah, I think that they're all up pretty much one and a half seconds slower than me now because of the thing it's raining on the track. So that's why I'm staying first because uh, me and Raikkonen and uh, it looks like Alonso, Button and Hamilton have all set our fast slaps at the beginning. So there we have it. We've gone to Q3. Great job. I'm going to start Q3 now. So it's raining. So as I predicted, you were in Q3 now where it was raining at the end of Q2. So we're just going to go out, put seven laps of fuel. We're just going to go out. I'm not expecting anything big. Uh, definitely not in the like top like seven because uh, it's very tricky to drive on the rain now. Like last year was a piece of piss, as I said in my demo videos. And that brings me on to if you're new to me and you're still here watching the video, I appreciate it if you could subscribe for more because I'm going to be bringing out weekly F1 2012 content. I'm just uploading this right now on Sunday because I just enjoyed making the last few episodes so much. And oh crap, we spun out. That's not good. Oh, we're just going to continue the lap, can't afford to go back to the garage. Yeah, so I just enjoyed making that uh, those last two episodes so much that I just wanted to make another one. So I'll probably upload the race in the middle of the week, if I have time. And then uh, then I'll try and get into a normal rhythm of uh, qualifying in a race every single weekend. Something for you guys to look forward to. Oh crap. And we spun out there. My rear tire probably clipped the apex. And so we're just going to continue. I don't really have time to go to the garage. It's kind of just going to lose time and time. So on the inters, it's looking pretty damp. It's not looking like wet weather tie, uh, wet weather tire weather just yet. Oh, going a bit wide there. Just going to set the fuel mix to lean mix one, so we don't waste any fuel. Just coming around. The graphics are amazing, especially on the rain now. I'm just really loving playing this game. I'm just addicted now. I guess that's why I'm bringing you another episode on the same weekend when I just said last episode. I emphasized it every week. <laughs> I'm uploading another one. I'm just enjoying it so much. Alright, so coming through. Just feathering it through. Don't want to spin out again. Getting ready for that proper flying lap that we're going to do at the end of this one. Taking it easy there. I've noticed that they also have like pools of water around the track now as well. That, that's really cool. I mean, that, that's just amazing. I mean, I've got to hand it to Codemasters there. I mean, pools of water, that's amazing to do in a game. Alright, so coming up, we're going to go to Mix 3 here. And so we're coming to the hairpin now. We're going to start this flying lap in Q3 on the intermediates and see what's it going to be. Let's go. Deploying all the curves, obviously no DRS because it's raining. And we're off. That wasn't a fast lap at all. Hamilton's gone fastest with a 147.4, so um I don't know if we can get anywhere near that. We'll see. Oh, got a bit jittery. Oh, nearly spun out there. Over the apex a bit gingerly. Right now coming through, deploying a tiny bit of curves now. And now coming through to the end of the first sector. Let's spot the breaking point, breaking hard. Don't turn in just yet. Now coming through. 
and nearly lost it there. I'm just going around these corners really slowly, just tentatively. Um, we can't go max power here in this sector now because it's raining. Well, we can go about fourth gear. So coming up now, end of the second sector nearly. This long right-hander. Gonna oh crap, crap, lost it. I'm just gonna keep on going. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep on going. No point trying to replay or whatever. Let's just do this. Lost it. It's really easy to lose it just in the middle of the corner. Not even when you're like touching apex or anything. So coming now, we got only got five minutes left to qualifying. That's not very good. Running out of time. Actually, I'm gonna change to um, not change to. I'm gonna just abandon that and try again. I think, I think it's wet weather tire. Weather. It looks like it. I don't know what everyone else is on, but I'm gonna go for wet weather. This might be a massive mistake. <laughs> This will probably end up being a massive mistake, but let's try it. It does look like it's getting... It, the rain is getting heavier, so... Crap. Ooh, crap. <laughs> Gone really wide there. And we spawn. Wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, wow. How pathetic is that? <laughs> and we're starting the lap here. And, oh, he spun off. <laughs> so we're going to go across Barrows now. Oh, he's on intermediate, so that's a bit boring, but I can't really do much now. Don't have enough time to change back to into me, so we just have to go on the wets. It does look like wet weather. I mean, um, it was damp before, and there was no uh, like uh, droplets on my screen, and now there is. So um, I'm, I think it's wet weather time. Uh, weather. So uh, let's see. So we're gonna change to mix three. Forgot about that. So we'll probably have only like about two flying laps, maybe just one actually. Looking at the time, yeah, probably only about one. So coming through, yeah, I don't think this was the right tire option. It's really wobbly here. I can't, you can't really, I can't really convey it properly while I'm commentating, but it was very, very wobbly. So coming through now, breaking bit of a lock up here. Coming through, oh, spun puddle. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use the replay there. Oh, let's just use the re replay. Don't really care. I don't mind. People might say that. Oh, you're using the replay. That's not realistic. Uh, but it's a game. It's a game. A replay's there for a reason. And I only use you. Only usually re use replays when they're really direly needed. Like now, this is my last, literally my last lap. So, if I just like gone out, spun out, it'd just be a very anti-climax ending to qualifying. So coming through now. Ooh. Ah, nearly lost it there. That's a really correct for it. The wrong time bit occurs there, literally a tap. Coming through now to the end of sector two. Come around nice and slowly. I really think I made the wrong tire up choice here. It's really not wet enough to have enough grip. Who's this in front of me? Vettel. Let's have him. Let's take him. Come on. This can be the only bit of pride in this qualifying. Oh, move, man. Idiot. No wonder. Oh, my God. No wonder people don't like you. Actually, having said that, I think Vettel's quite a nice person in real life. <laughs> Maybe not on the track. On the track, he's a bit of a dick. Because <laughs> he just seems to either win everything, or when he doesn't win everything, he seems to whine about it or something. But he seems like a nice guy. <laughs> so coming through, hairpin, not a very good lap. This is going to be like 140, 150 something. 153. Not a very good lap here, but that's in the qualifying, guys. I've been Arava. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to me, please subscribe for weekly F1 2012 career mode. Probably bring out the race in like a couple of days, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I've been Arava, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.